So over there is Bellaris. And over this way is Lithuania. We're in the last village uh, before the Belarusian border on the Lithuanian side. Um, I've just been down there to see whether it's possible to cross the border, and actually it is not. Um, there is a big fence there and lots of border posts. No guards, but a big enough fence that you'd have a real job getting over there. Um, uh, but in fact, the last village here on the Lithuanian side is pretty fascinating. It's um, some kind of very chocolate box, old-fashioned uh, Central and Eastern European um, place with lots of colourful cottages with strange and intricate awnings. Um, so what I thought I would do is walk you through this village, which I've just uh, come to on my way back to the car, and let you see for yourself, because I think it's pretty captivating. So the area that we're in now has, has changed hands many times over the years. Um, if you look on the Wikipedia page or on Quora for the, uh, the particular area that we're in, there's a certain regional park, I'll put the, uh, I'll write you the name if you want. Uh, you'll see that it's been populated by Jewish people, by Polish people, by Lithuanian people, by Belarusians, by the ancestors of all those different types of people. It's been passed from pillar to post, but I imagine that most of these buildings um, have probably been standing here throughout all the changes and uh, have not only not changed very much, but most of them look like they haven't really been uh, repainted or tended to that whole time either. But that's more enjoyment for us because it is interesting, isn't it? To see these kinds of strange old places. Absolutely fascinating. I'm looking at these places and thinking to myself that they're probably summer residences if we're here in the winter. The kind of place where you look at the chickens, enormous chickens. You can just see them through the grass. These are the sorts of places where which would be a pleasure to hang around in during the summer months when it's warm. There are leaves on the trees. Um, but here in the winter, it's absolutely terrible. Obviously, there is a rich tradition of having a summer house in the country in uh, Slavic cultures. So perhaps that's what these are. We're in a very, very obscure part of, um, of Lithuania. When I was talking to people in my accommodation back in Vilnius yesterday, um, even the Lithuanian people had barely heard of it. It was not a place uh, that people uh, consider going. I was warned that people here wouldn't really speak Lithuanian, uh, more likely to speak Polish. Obviously it doesn't really make much difference for me as I'm not proficient in either of those languages. This one's a little bit more well taken care of, isn't it? Uh, but in truth I haven't really seen anybody in my time here. Um, some lady came out of her house when I first arrived when I was parking the car. Um, just wanted to see what was going on really. But uh, hopefully my cheery wave and uh, lack of aggressive behaviour has put her at ease. I'm not quite sure what this is. beautiful. It's rustically beautiful. You can imagine it being a set for a film about Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, it's hard to think that this whole region is known really for just the sheer number of horrible tragedies which have happened. Because when you see a scene like this you just think, oh, how very splendid. There should be children playing here. And perhaps in the summer there is. But for now, as you may be able to hear, it's very windy. It's been raining, which is why I'm looking a little bit um, battered. Uh, you know, I've got to have some excuse. And uh, there we go. That was our walk through the last village before Belarus. 
Um, I'm going to um, head back to the car now. I'll keep you here while I'm doing that, just so you can see a bit more of the village. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, etc. If you've got any questions, let me know. Oh, there's the car. And I'll leave you with this monument and some lovely fresh flowers. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. See you around. Take care.